From the season 2 teaser jam-packed with buckets full of trauma to new pics released from the official set, Yellow Jacket season 2 is spoiling us. And we are definitely here for it. Now, it's true what they say. You have to see Yellow Jackets to really believe it. And we couldn't agree more with this statement. But nevertheless, it appears that the first season 2 trailer accurately captures the feelings you get while watching the show, something that is pretty unheard of nowadays. Is Mrs. Mendez gonna let you retake the trig test? Yeah, probably. The trailer, which was just released, contains all the features we've come to expect. Or do we? Mysteries, spooky videos, and deeper exploration of the mythology behind it all. Oh, and don't forget about Elijah Wood, too. You know, the perky but shy hobbit from Lord of the Rings? Iconic. But first, if you have never seen the Iconic series, then you may not know that this show has two timelines playing out at the same time. I know we're all really worried about Allie but it might not be as bad as it looks. A bit confusing, right? Don't worry, it's still pretty easy to follow along with. One timeline depicts the team of high school soccer players stuck in the wilderness who survived a terrifying aircraft accident, while the second occurs 25 years later, when the now adult survivors are silent about what happened while they were missing. So what does the season two teaser tell us? First, this season will be even more upsetting for Natalie. According to the new trailer, she chose to use regression therapy to uncover long buried memories of her terrifying experiences after the traumatic plane disaster. <laughs> Keep her calm. Wait. Don't move her. Right. Stop moving, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Season 1 was already a challenge for her, but it's safe to say that remembering trauma you forced yourself to forget won't lead to anything positive. Will Season 2 be even more heavy than the first? It's looking increasingly likely. Secondly, is Misty really crying? Misty, played by the legendary actress Christina Ricci, appears to be on the edge of tears due to a frustrating move. But knowing Misty, there are a number of possibilities for this. This is a profile in Jersey Monthly, not Italian Vogue. You just need to loosen up. Did her deception not work out as she had hoped? Did she manage to hide something from someone? Or did something truly awful happen, making us feel bad for her? Thirdly, will characters that we didn't even know survive the crash make their first appearance in the present day timeline, making the plot even more compelling? This is very exciting stuff. Who do you think they could be? What is their role in the plane crash? How are they dealing with it 25 years later? So much to cover. Now, if you have never seen the series, this might sound a little odd. So let's do a quick overview for those who need it. What's up, state champs? <laughs> Okay, so JV is going to help us out with a little scrimmage today. In season one of the show, we see a high school soccer team left trapped in the wilderness after a plane crash. The series is divided into two timelines. The team's grueling attempt to survive on the deserted island was explored in the first, and the team's lives 25 years later was covered in the second. Oh, and to add even more unusual twists and turns into the occult, there are also cults, cannibalism, and other bizarre occult diversions. Could the show get any better? Now, you may wonder, when can I feast my eyes on the second season? She totally choked. She's a freshman tie. She's a liability. So what do you want to do about it? Well, the critically praised drama will make its showtime return on March 26th, 2023. So now that we have covered the second season's teaser, what about the recent images revealed from its production? Well, the four major females from the present day timeline are depicted in the new images. This includes Melanie Linsky as Shauna Shipman, Tani Cypress as Thaisa Turner, Christina Ricci as Misty, and of course, Juliette Lewis as Nat. Now, now, these four will be joined by additional cast members who will play the adult versions of other survivors who we haven't yet seen in the present timeline. And thanks to the set images, we caught ourselves a glimpse. We can expect to see Lauren Ambrose from Six Feet Under, who will play Van, and Simone Kessel from Obi-Wan Kenobi, who will play Lottie, along with Sophie Nalise, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Sophie Thatcher, Samantha Henratty, Courtney Eaton, Liv Hewson, Steven Kruger, and Kevin Alves. 
But more importantly, Elijah Wood will join the cast as Walter, a new character who will oppose Misty. So nothing like his character in Lord of the Rings. If she plays like she did at stage, <laughs> Don't worry, that's not gonna happen. Don't get your hopes up. Sadly, that is all we have seen so far. Of course, they are keeping it highly under wraps for dramatic effect. And to be honest, it's working. But the frustrating part is that season one left us with so many pressing questions and cliffhangers that we need to be answered ASAP. For example, what does Natalie's future hold for Lottie's cult? Why are they after her? Did they abduct her because she was investigating Travis's killing? Or were they after her? for some other reason. So many questions, so little answers. Another big question mark, is Thaisa part of Lottie's cult? What is known is that Thaisa killed the family dog on an altar. I know, it's super gruesome. However, we never truly know what is going on as much as we think we do. Next, many viewers, including us, have been asking ourselves what will happen directly after their rescue and how are they saved? Well, we know that the girls made up what happened after the crash upon their rescue from the creepy island. But someday, the truth must come out, right? When will the public learn about the gruesome cannibalism and everything else that occurred? When will the others learn that Teen Misty destroyed the emergency transmitter for their aircraft? She was essentially the only one who didn't jump at the prospect of being rescued. But why? And finally, another massive question mark for fans who who exactly is the mysterious Pit Girl? Fans who have dubbed the running girl in the first episode of the show Pit Girl on Reddit and Twitter are still very curious about who she is. Some believe she might be Jackie, but viewers now know that's impossible thanks to what we saw in the finale. Because it's the first and only time viewers have actually seen cannibalism in the series, that character's identity is crucial to understanding the plot. There's a significant significant likelihood that season two will ultimately reveal who she is because that sequence takes place in the winter. But you know that they might hold out for a while before letting viewers in, keeping our anticipation up and viewer ratings high. And there you have it, from the first look at the Yellow Jackets season two trailer and the trauma that is depicted, to the new photos from the second season that have only just been released, all the way to some of the biggest cliffhangers we need answers to. You are completely up to date with all things Yellow Jackets. So what do you think we could see play out? Will all of our questions be answered? And finally, who is going to be tuning in for the highly anticipated second season? You know we are.